This is the Chapter 10 Reading Check Quiz for Animal Farm by George Orwell. Because this is a recording, remember you can always stop to pause the recording to give yourself more time to answer, or you can back up the recording to hear questions read again. Let's get started. Choose the best answer to each question. Highlight or circle your answer. Number one, the passage Somehow it seemed as though the farm had grown richer without making the animals themselves any richer is an example of A, hyperbola, B, irony, C, metaphor, D, personification. Number two. Now that many years have passed since the rebellion, the animals' lives appear to be A, better than when Jones owned the farm, B, worse than when Jones owned the farm. See the same as when Jones owned the farm. Number three, when the, kids, when the pigs begin to walk on two feet, this violates which principle or principles of animalism? Choose all that apply, but be prepared to explain your answer. A, whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. B, whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. C, no animal shall wear clothes. D, no animal shall sleep in a bed. E, no animal shall drink alcohol. F, no animal shall kill any other animal. G, all animals are equal. Number four, the pigs have changed the seventh principle of animalism to read, A, four legs good, two legs good. B, Four legs good, two legs bad. C, four legs bad, two legs good. D, four legs good, two legs better. It's our close read portion. Read the passage, then answer the questions. Highlight or circle the best answer to each question. What was it that had altered in the faces of the pigs? Clover's old dim eyes flitted from one face to another. Some of them had five chins, some four, some had three. But what was it that seemed to be melting and changing? Twelve voices were shouting in anger, and they were all alike. No question now what had happened to the faces of the pigs. The creatures outside looked from pig to man, and from man to pig, and from pig to man again, but already it was impossible to say which was which. Number five, the best synonym for the word altered as it is used in the passage is A, shifted, B, clouded, C, masked, D, changed. Number six, the main idea that the reader can infer from this passage is A, the pigs have so thoroughly adopted the behavior of humans that they behave more like people than like animals. B, the men have begun to look like pigs in the eyes of the animals due to their greed and gluttony. C, spying on someone else's dinner party can reveal shocking secrets. D, the men and the pigs have intermarried, creating a species of half man, half pig monsters. Number seven, the bold-faced portion of the passage uses blank to create dramatic effect. A, hyperbola, B, imagery, C, parallel structure, D, rhyme. Last question, number eight. Now that you have read the entire novel, what lesson about human nature do you think the author George Orwell was trying to teach by telling this story. Write your response on the lines below.